So I was talking to a friend of mine the other day, and we were talking about how the club isn't fun like how it used to be. And I was wondering, like, where's all the dudes? Um, I don't know, but they're not there. And that's cool. Not yeah, a lot of men are um, abandoning nightclubs because they tired of the BS. If you can put your cash up in the comments, man, I know how to do. Also, if you want to join a thousand dollar giveaway, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram at 200 underscore acres. You're in the giveaway. I will be doing a giveaway live on this channel October 22nd. You want, you don't want to miss it. But yeah, a lot of guys ain't going to nightclubs no more because they tired of it. They tired of like them going up to a female and then they grabbing on their friends. Oh, I don't like girls. I mean, I don't like guys. All this other stuff. They be dancing with their friends. I mean, all this stuff, man. Guys like, you know what, bro? I ain't, I ain't got time for it. That's why every time I'm in a club, you never see me going to talk to no female because I ain't even finna deal with it. So I just be sitting in my corner, doing my thing, drinking. That's why majority of the women, like I tell y'all, they come up to me because I'm not finna be dealing with all that stupidness. I'm like, why are you going in the club? You feel me? You know you really want a guy, but you sent up here acting. You know what I'm saying? But no, I ain't got time for that. But that's why a lot of guys are abandoning it. Let's get into this video, man. Not like I care. And that's cool. Not like I care. Why is there such a drastic increase in men avoiding the nightclub? I mean, I could give you the politically correct answer if that's what you see. No, but you demand straight facts. Give me the bottom line. Give me the truth. Straight up, no chaser. The truth is, the modern nightclub is no longer efficient for our purposes. I mean, efficiency literally means achieving maximum productivity with minimum wasted effort or expense. Now, if I ask you to calculate all of your recent club experiences, would you deem them efficient? I mean, let's be frank. How much money have you wasted for subpar tenderloin extraction? Let's do the math. You and a group of friends pull your money together to lease a booth, a few bottles, and a disease-infected hookah. Be honest. How much baseline tenderloin did you and your squad obtain from this investment? So I don't know if y'all saw, but there's this whole discourse going on on Twitter talking about why do clubs suck now and why does club culture suck now? And we gonna get into it because I'll tell you why club culture sucks now. And I finally put some water on my face. I was like, oh, like we got grenades, man. Meanwhile, and I was wondering, like, where's all the dudes? Um, I don't know, but they're not there. I mean, are we honey badgers or are we peacocks? Do you fully understand the buying power you just exhausted and how much that same investment would yield you in other markets abroad? I apologize. I'm somewhat triggered by wasted assets on subpar women. The nightlife industry and nightlife culture around the world is slowly dying. Here are 10 reasons why, but also, David, will it ever come back? A few moments later. People are primarily saving up their funds for larger festivals or bigger trips, potentially trips overseas to travel. Yeah, I mean, people are saving up for trips to Latin America, South America, to Asia. Passport to, bros? To, yeah, passport bros, but also to Tokyo. Passport to, bros? To, yeah, passport bros, but also to Tokyo. To this day. To this day. To this day. Modern women cannot give us a clear distinction between a man being assertive versus a man being quote-unquote abusive because what's right and what's wrong all depends on if she finds you attractive. I feel like what you say, the men are much, the men are different. different. The, the men are much more respectful. Respectful, no, because like before you could, uh, like you be dancing and then after a while you got to turn around like, who the heck is this? No, I could be pushing back like, he gonna call? <laughs> right? <laughs> Like I here doing the most work. Sir, grab like, this wine. Which no, but it's even a wine. Then come in for wine no more. Like this is not even watching. the whole touching thing because I always used to have an SPD and used to make me so annoyed when you pass people they gotta touch you. Yeah, that's especially too. the men. Now mm. nobody hands up, girl. I was nah. surprised when somebody yeah. told me, "Hey, honest." But you gotta realize they do that now because dudes are sick and tired of it. They just like, man, you know what, bro? I just don't have the time for it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I feel that. But I'm going to give y'all a wise bit of wisdom, guys. I hope you guys really take heed to this. I promise you guys, your life will change drastically 
when your sole focus becomes to build yourself up, when you stop focusing on women, no, I'm going to just say women, stop focusing on women, stop focusing on things that will tear you down, drinking alcohol vices, and just focus on building yourself spiritually, mentally, and physically. Only that, and financially. Just focus on that. Nothing else. I promise you guys, everything else you want, the women, whatever, whatever you want is going to come to you. Focus on building yourself spiritually, mentally, physically, financially. Just focus on that. Just focus on building yourself. Every day of your waking life, your life is going to change. I'm, 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 I'm kind of confused. You, you guys sound like you're upset. You don't, you don't get no, because now, anymore. Look, when we used to get touched, <laughs> it was annoying. You but wanted to get bummed. No, rushed, but you go to rushed. the complete opposite side. You need a balance. Don't yeah. touch me up with disrespect for me. Right, right, but right. Pull up on me. Pull up. You just want. If you're not her type, then be prepared for those stray songs or Cuba Gooding Jr. allegations in the near future. <laughs> One man's flirt, depending on how he looks and presents, is another man's sexual harassment. Yes, yes. And we are not doing a good job as women being able to explain why it's sexual harassment versus being an attract an attractive opportunity. This day, to this day. Men are frustrated. Men are not understanding what is the difference and why am I right if I'm being kind to you. So because of your behavior, women, I am now going to pull back my finances and resources. I'm now going to reduce my presence. I'm going to reduce my intentions, my efforts, because I don't want what my intentions are in terms of creating connection with you to be misconstrued as sexual harassment because you don't like how I look. I'm not your type. The nightclub is not only boring, but it's dangerous. Risking your future for a 200 pound five or a single mother six is next level ludicrous. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, it seems like we've just received some breaking news. Cobra is now reporting that Monica Leon, a.k.a. Danger from The Love of Ray J, has attempted to jump the wall of no return. Unfortunately, according to eyewitnesses, she's failed. Oh, so close. We're now going to take you live to the scene. So I'm actually going to just start documenting because this will be a teachable moment for other victims. Because I'm not the only wife out there that has a debilitating disability that can't get out of her marriage. I'm on my way to the food bank to get food because I have no food in my house. Because my husband got me fired from my job and... Let me be the first to say our thoughts and prayers go out to another brave post-war survivor. But let's get back to our regular programming. programming, programming. I'm going to Club Space by myself, so I'm going to document this whole thing. This is the fit. A few moments later. But I'm just going to vibe, so like, I don't really care. But something that gives me the ick in space is when someone's trying to talk to me. Like, why are you talking to me? Like, do not talk to me right now. This is not the place for conversation. Like, this is, like, please be quiet. I can't stand it. <laughs> I have a question for my millennials or my Generation Xers, really anybody older than Gen Z. What did the club used to be like? What did the club used to be like? Because now, you know, it's sections all over the place. People be acting scared to dance. Everybody just going to take pictures, pop bottles. What was the club like before sections? I've seen several posts about how the club scene is dead. How people in their early 20s to early 30s are extremely lonely. And I think there's a correlation between those two things. I used to be part of the club scene back in 2007 through 2011. First of all, there was no, no Bumble or Tinder or anything to that effect. If you wanted to meet people, be it friends or people that you wanted to date, you had to physically get out of the house. You, when you went to these clubs to interact with people, it wasn't something where you could swipe and text and all sort of stuff. You're physically right there with people. And if you saw a woman that caught your eye, I mean, you'd ask her to dance. If you caught her eye, her and her friends would probably be dancing around you and you guys would wind up, you know, mingling with, with, with them at that point in time. But it was magical because 
you really got a sense of who you were dealing with right in person. You, you knew immediately whether or not you had chemistry with a person because you'd be talking to them and dancing with them for, you know, maybe an hour or two, you know. So I really hope that the club scene comes back because I think that it will be something that benefits people in their early 20s to early 30s, just the way it did for us. But wait a minute. You didn't smash the bell and press the like button. Blast, 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 blast. And although you will never... Yeah, this video was from Destroy Reborn. He makes some good videos, bro, like for real. But um, yeah, man, that's true. But you got to realize the, the rise of the dating apps, the Tinder and all of that kind of stopped, you know, the club scene as well. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times when guys go to the club, they really go to get a female. You feel me? But now you can just go, oh, I can go find me a female on Tinder. You feel me? That and on the other hand, it's just like in the you have to be in order for you to get the female you want in the club. You got to be that one percent guy. You know what I'm saying? And not too many people are that guy, you know, because everybody is going up to the food train trying to get this person and all the little guys are getting neglected, you know, so I, I can understand that as well. But yeah, tell me what y'all think about the video in the comments, man. See you guys next video. Always remember, be safe out there, kings and queens. Let's get it.